Scott's a good buddy. You've probably seen his wife, Tiffany, on the show. Uh, Tiffany's got some great cookbooks. Scott has done tons of stuff on TV. Today, he's got a great tip for you deer hunters. Once you get the skin off your animal and you have it cooling, don't think that the work is done. Here we have an animal, animal that was shot perfectly through the shoulder, right, or right behind the shoulder. So what we're gonna do here, in order to remove some of this blood shot, we're just gonna cut right behind this. The front shoulder is easy to remove because there are no bone to bone connections. Come underneath the, the shoulder with my knife. I'm gonna start cutting it open. That shoulder blade runs back up towards the, the back strap there. Just gonna pry it open and just keep cutting. And I'll get it to the point so that's gonna lay open like that. Now you can see all this blood shot in here. We've opened up the front shoulder on the other side as well. If you cut them to the point like that, they're just gonna butterfly open naturally and start cooling. Now we're not quite done there. What I wanna do at this point is start removing a bunch of this blood shot. So I can come in here with my knife. I can start scraping that out. If there's any blood shot around where the bullet hole is, I'm gonna start cutting that out as well and removing that. And the reason is, is because of this blood, as it sets up and coagulates, this is where you're gonna get a gamey taste. So if you can look at all this blood that's in the front shoulder, had we just let this sit here or hang, or hang here and age, this is basically gonna be breaking down and rotting away. This is one of the reasons people don't like eating wild game. So no matter where you hit your big game animal, not all shots are perfect like this, make sure that you clean out that blood shot because in the end, you won't have the cook to blame for having a bad tasting meal. It comes down to the hunter not taking proper care of the meat in the field.